time I do that, it's just, it feels like you and Erin just constantly are like vultures, just tearing apart my story. Story is your story. Our stories are completely different. I love you, but seriously, I gotta go. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Sami Sampi. Let's talk about the latest episode of The Real Last of, of New York right now. So I'm going to go straight to the point and talk about the discussion between Sai and Jesso. Listen, Sai has to know why Jesso wanted to talk to her. The way she exploded on her, on the boat, was, you know, deem for discussion. Jesso wanted to, them to clear the air. Like the way you talk to her side, that was crazy. First of all, I didn't forget that because that was too much. Jason wants to talk to her. Sai was reluctant. She didn't really want to make it to that meeting, but she did. And just said, oh girl, are you going to be 45 minutes late to a meeting and you're not going to let the person know? Imagine a lunch with someone you don't really like and then they're 45 minutes late. <laughs> I would have, personally, I would have left. If you're not going to call me to tell me you're late, I'm leaving. Granted, Sai probably ended up staying because production told her that she was late. She probably called somebody at production to tell them she was going to be late. But that wasn't a good start. So already Sai was kind of like snippy. She was a little cold. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not blaming her on that. In their discussion, I felt that Jesso came at her really nicely. To make sure that you understood that that's not what I was trying to do. Uh, I guess apologize if that's how it came across. She even gave her an apology, which honestly I felt was not necessary. If you're apologizing because she misunderstood you, no, like you said what you said, she misunderstood you, right? The goal was never to compare herself and everything. So she's explaining everything to her. The one I was living with, Uncle Nitton, he was an alcoholic. I blame myself every day because I don't think I helped him. Oh, I'm so sorry. I is basically telling her, well, you know, the way you speak, the way you are, it doesn't fit with us. If you want us to understand you, this is how you have to be. That That's literally how I took it. I think the one thing about this group is that we all know when someone is not being straightforward. But I think we... And I didn't like it. It seemed very bullish, very, if you want to be part of the group, this is how you have to speak. And... That's why we went on you, no. You screaming at her, yelling at her the way you yelled at her, that was not necessary. That was bullying type of behavior. And if you've done that stuff to me, you probably would have been in that water. And you can see that Sai knows who to talk to this way because she would never try that ish with Uba. She knows who she's gonna talk to that way and I just didn't like it. When that situation here happened every single time i do that it's just it feels like you and erin just constantly are like vultures just tearing apart my story because the story Jessel, sometimes i wish you would be more vulnerable so and i'm like this girl is literally crying in front of you and you're asking her to be more vulnerable how much more vulnerable do you need her to be she's literally crying in front of your eyes and you think she needs to open up more this girl just opened up to you and you literally said you don't give a f yeah at some point she seemed to be you know a little bit more understanding but you were ready to leave i love you but seriously i gotta go like this scene here i gotta give it to jesso because she did open up but then when she saw what time sai was on she was like okay go ahead i'll pay you want one two one and i'll get it are you sure yeah yeah, yeah. okay like Jesso wanting to pay for her was girl i'll pay so that you can leave faster that's how i think that was i wouldn't have paid for her though but i guess you, you were late like 45 minutes late it's okay pay, pay for her but yeah that was horrible like that girl side i'm not a fan of her i know some of you probably like her a lot i don't like the side we see on the show i don't like her i don't like her behavior i don't like the way she does and it's crazy because I really want to like her. It's a lot about her that's there to like. What is there not to like about Sai? But that attitude, that mean girl behavior, I didn't like it. I don't like it at all. And I wish she tried that with Uba, but she, kn she knows not to do that. I think that Jesso needs to stop to try to be part of the group between Jesso, Erin, Green, whatever they have going on. There's people in there that like her. 
Uba likes her, Jenna like her. If I was JSO, I would focus on those people rather than try to make myself understood by people that are determined not to. You're gonna get hurt and no, don't do that. That the rest of the episode was okay. Honestly, I was a little bored. I'm going to be honest, I was a little bored. You know, I'm happy for Jesso that she finally had sex with her husband. Clap, clap, clap to Jesso on that. I feel like that deserved an acknowledgement. And I was bored most of the time, y'all. And I'm not going to act like I was interested and come and talk to you about things I wasn't interested about. But in the instance that you want me to talk a little bit more, let me know and I will. On this note, if you're new here, hey, welcome, and I invite you to, you know, and for those of you that have been here with me supporting me, thank you all so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.